Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you 10 different Minecraft traps that you absolutely have to know. Uh, I mean, these traps range from, like, these traps range from water bubble elevators to the nether to the end to chest traps. This is everything. This video covers absolutely everything. Um, these are all very simple. There's almost no redstone involved with them. That's a complete lie, never mind. But, I mean, they're simple anyway, so that doesn't matter. They're all extremely simple, um, so yeah, make sure to stick around and watch this whole video because... I'm going to be covering 10 different awesome traps that you just have to know and watch. So, without any further ado, I'm just going to get started. This is These are all the buttons to the 10 traps. All very simple. And, let's get started. So, this is trap number 1. Okay, so before I show you how to actually make this trap, I'm just going to show you how it actually works. So, pretty much you get in the minecart. As you see, you can't see anything. So, um, so what you have to do is, you have to pretend this is a mountain side or something because... You're obviously not just going to see a blob of dirt in the middle of nowhere. So yeah, you have to pretend it's a mountainside. So you have to get in the minecart and keep in mind, you can't see anything behind that, right? So it just seems like a perfectly normal minecart. So you click this button and uh, this happens. Uh, and then you die in the lava. And so yeah, that's pretty much you're done for. Um, there's no stop in this trap because pretty much what happens is you ride along the minecart and then you run into this and this triggers all that redstone to take away this to make you die all right so now i'm going to show you how to actually make all this redstone okay to make this trap all you're going to have to do is you're going to have to have these resources now it doesn't you don't have to have exactly this like you don't maybe you don't need seven rails or maybe you don't need this button maybe you don't need these blocks but i do recommend using them uh because that's how you make this trap the best so have a little area it doesn't matter where um and follow my lead so it's going to be doing that Place two blocks there. You don't actually need it, but then you place the button there to start the roller coaster. And then you place one um, powered rail right there, and then right here you have to place one, two, and three right here. The reason you have to place three is because if you only place two, you'll be able to see it curving in, and that's not what you want because you do not want the person to see the detector rail. So then you're gonna have to move the rail inwards again, and then right here you're gonna put your detector rail. Because that this rail is the most important rail because this is the rail that um, captures the redstone. Um, um, I don't know the word. I'm not even gonna talk. Anyway, so so what you want to do is you want to make it keep going. Make it. You have to make it go far like this. You have to have two rails right here, or else it's not gonna work. So then dig yourself just a little space right here. Um, it's pretty small of a space. Uh, and then right in front of these two rails right here, you're going to place two sticky pistons just like so. So there's a spot in between them. And then right behind these sticky pistons, you're going to do place two redstone repeaters. And then right behind those, you're going to do the five redstone dust. So one, two, three, four, five. And then right here, you're going to place the, your redstone torch. And now the trap is all ready to go. So now you just need to get a um, minecart. What? Okay, um... Ignore that, that nothing just happened. So yeah, you put it in, you get on, you, ready, you do go on it, uh, and then it does like that. Now, now is your time to um, place all your stuff below it, like the lava and all you want to do. So you place the lava there, uh, you have to make sure to replace your blocks right here, and also the only thing wrong with this trap is that it's not, you have to replace these rails by yourself, but that's not much of a problem. And the other problem with this trap is that there's a big, I mean, like, look at this, there's a big pile of redstone. So you have to cover that up, which is why I recommend building this on a um, mountainside or something like that. But yeah, as you see now, if I go on it, you fall to your doom. And so yeah, the point of this trap, though, is to make sure that they can't actually see this detector rail or else you're busted. Uh, so yeah, that, that was kind of the point of that over there. Uh, and also one more thing as I go over all the rest of these nine other traps. I did not make any of these traps by my own except for like one or two, but whatever. So I saw these all over the internet, alright? I did not make these traps up. So I don't give me the credit, don't hate on me because I did not make these traps. Again, I did not make these traps! Anyway, yep, on to number two. Okay, so trap number two is possibly the most simplest and easiest trap on this list. 
uh, I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. So all you have to do is all you have to do is have a tree. So this, look at this, watch this. So you mine down the tree, right? You mine all this wood. You have to make sure to mine all this wood. And again, you have to set this trap so the person mining the wood has absolutely no clue what's going on. Um, they have no idea that they're about to get killed. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't die, and I didn't even have armor on. That's not a good sign. What? Whoa, that... Normally, it's stronger than that. Whatever. It's supposed to kill you. Normally, it kills you. I think you have to go right under it. Right under it. Sorry. But anyway, that's that's my bad. Uh, but whatever. Normally, it kills you. You can add more TNT below it, maybe. But yeah, time to show you how to build it. Okay, so again, why do I keep pressing this button? Anyway, so again, this is definitely one of the most easiest traps to make. This is all you need. This is all you need. And then the, the leaves are completely optional, but I recommend them. So what you need to do is you need to find yourself a tree just like this. It doesn't have to be spruce. It can be oak or dark oak or whatever you want it to be. But I'm just using spruce because those are the only trees around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this leaf block right here. And then I'm going to break this wood block right here. And then I'm going to place my rail right here. And then my mar mine cart with TNT right there. So now what I have to do is I have to... Uh, I Oh, by the way, but to make this more powerful and kill me on the first try, I can place multiple mine cart with TNTs. One, two, three. So I have three right there. So that's absolutely killer. But now I need to get rid of the rail. And now I just need to cover it back up. Just like that. You can't see a thing. But sometimes you can see a thing, which is why I put the leaves here to place that right there. But, see, it's perfect. Uh, and now if I just pretend I'm in survival mode. Pretend I'm, nothing's happening, right? Blah, blah, blah. I'm just mining my trees. And wait for it. <laughs> okay, well, wait for it again. Okay, and boo. <clears throat> oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Well, that's my bad, so apparently you have to place it higher up, so instead of, okay, that's my bad, so instead of placing it there, what you have to do is you have to place it right here, which makes it a little more, well, I mean, I'm sorry guys, you know what, you know what, whatever, um, let's just do the same process, you can cover it back up in leaves, just like so. Nothing even happened, you guys. I didn't fail. Sorry for that. Uh, whatever. Now just pretend that none of that happened. Pretend none of that happened. Now if I go back to survi survival mode, and I break this block right here, and this wood block right here, then I'm gonna die. Boom. Okay, perfect. <laughs> okay, so guys, let me just give you a little warning right there. Um, the reason I didn't die the first time is because the, the minecart with TNT has to drop more than four blocks, I'm pretty sure, or maybe exactly four blocks for me to die. So just keep that in mind while you're doing. Do not make the same mistake as I did, and, uh, yeah, let's go on to number three. Alright guys, after that complete failure of a trap number two, uh, I guess we're on to trap number three. Okay, so for this trap... Uh, it's supposed to be used in a cave system. Uh, you don't have to use it in a cave system. I'll tell you exactly why after that. And this is all the resources you'll need. You do not need three redstone ore. You technically only need one redstone ore. But I like to use three just for decoration. Or not really. You'll see why. And then you don't exactly need 11 redstone. But I re also recommend using 11 redstone. Alright, so let's get into it. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to mine a three by three by three hole, which means you're, you're going to want to dig it down three blocks, just like so. So you're going to want to make it three by three, and then dig it down three. And then you're going to want to place your redstone dust right in the middle here. Then right on the side, you're going to want to place a, uh, well, you're just a stone block here. And then you're going to want to place a redstone torch right here to power that. Next, you're going to want to place your redstone ore right above this torch so that it's not on. Make sure it is not on. Do not step on that or the trap is ruined. And then you're going to want to place your redstone dust. It's going to flicker like this, which is perfect. And then, boom, it's off. That's all you need. Uh, and then what I like to do, just to make it seem a lot less suspicious, I'll show you that later. So you need to place your TNT. Make sure you do not place your TNT close to the torches or else you're going to get killed. 
I'll show you right here. Oh, so you can do this. And then for the top layer, make sure to only place your TNT here, 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 and here. If you place it anywhere in the middle or on top, it's going to explode and kill you. Make sure to do, you do not step on that. Okay, next you're going to want to take your other redstone, or if you have it, it's completely optional. Place it like here and like maybe like whatever here. And then you're going to take your stone, which I forgot to put in there, sorry. Uh, and you're going to want to just completely cover the rest of that up. Like so. And then you're going to have a little thing here to put here, but whatever. You can just pretend that's like, I don't know, another redstone or whatever. It doesn't really matter. And now, uh, let me just go into survival mode to show you how it works. If you step on this, nothing's going to happen. But as soon as you step on this middle block, it's going to ignite the TNT. And I'm about to explode any second. Yep, perfect. Just like that. So, yep, I exploded. Um, I'm back here. And uh, that, yeah, that's trap three. So it's very simple. Uh, and then I just want to address one more thing about that trap. Um, if you, if you, you can technically build that inside your, oh, wrong trap, my bad. You can technically build that inside of your house. Uh, all you're going to have, all you're going to have to do is place carpet over the redstone though. And then the person's going to step on the carpet and die. So yeah, that's pretty cool. On to trap number four. Okay, so trap four is similar to trap three in the way that it is also underground. Let me just show you. So yeah, if we go into the, this tech place, it's also underground, but it's uh, in my it's the it's it's also a cool trap. I'm not sure about better, but this is all the materials you'll need. Now keep in mind, you do not need 64 TNT at all. That's way too much TNT. But I'm just it's just no recommended amount of TNT really. So I'm just having 64 here. And then you're going to need two redstone torches and then a diamond ore. As you see, it doesn't have to be diamond. It can be coal. It can be, uh, it can technically be stone if you want it to be. It's just, I recommend using a uh, diamond ore so that people will see it and then immediately come to it. So you're going to want a wall in a mine shaft just like this. And then you're going to want to just place your diamond ore right here. It's completely innocent and ready for somebody to mine it. So... Oops, so you're going to want to place that here, and then you're going to want to go right behind this wall, okay? Right behind it. Clear that tiny little space right here. And you're going to want to place a redstone torch right on that diamond ore. Just right on that diamond ore. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place a block right above that. And then you're going to, place, going to want to place your other redstone torch right here. So you want it to shut off. That is absolutely perfect. So now what you want to do is... You're done with that. See, it's super simple. Now all you need to do is start to place your red, or sorry, your TNT down. But let me just clarify this real quick. Do not place your TNT next to any of these torches. If you do, you're an idiot and you're going to get blown up. So what you have to do is you have to place it. Well, I recommend placing it above. Um, which is yeah, you should probably do that as well. And then what I like to do though is I like to place it above just like this. This way, and you also have to do it. You have to place it right above this torch, or else it's not going to work. So you have to place it right above that torch, just like that, and then fill it in. But what I like to do, that's not enough because I'm pretty evil. So what I like to do is I like to make it overhanging to the top. So even if they try to run, even if they try to run, they're still going to die. So and then you have to cover it up, and uh, yeah. It's ready. So now, if I go into survival mode, which I don't really want to do because I'm just going to die again. And I'm not trying to do that, but for the sake of the video, oops, I'm going to do that. So if you walk up and you mine it, you're about to die. And so if you, even if you try to run, uh, ooh, uh, you're there. and you're dead. So yeah, that was a pretty simple trap. Obviously, you can place a lot more TNT than that if you'd like. And you can place it in more strategic and better places, but... I'm just trying to speed the video along, so yeah, that is trap number four, I think. Yeah. Alright, so guys, trap number five is more simple, th simple than trap number four, oopies, than trap number four, than trap number three, two, or one, or ten, by the way. So yeah, trap number five is absolutely crazy simple, so let me just click on this button and go here. What's um, next? Whatever, so this is all you're going to need for this trap. That's all you're going to need. At one piece of TNT in one stone pressure plate. Now, I think you know what I'm, where I'm going. But you're going to want to do this either in a gravel 
um, mountain or a desert, like where there's a bunch of sand or gravel. And you're going to want to place a bunch of different stone pressure plates, stone buttons around to make it look like there's rocks. And by the way, you can't just place one. You have to place a bunch of different ones. Sorry, or the people are just going to think it's just a trap. So you have to have a ton of different ones like this that are not rigged up. And then you're going to take your one stone pressure plate. Uh, you're going to, it doesn't really matter where you put it. You can either put it on gravel or sand. You're going to mine this piece of gravel. I picked it up. Woo. Then you're going to mine one block down, two block down, three block down, even four block down if you'd like. Um, it really, it doesn't matter how far down, it has to be more than two or three, I think, though. So next, you're going to want to place your TNT right here, right here. That's very important. You have to place it right there. Then you're going to place your gravel back right there. And then you're going to place your stone pressure plate here. So not only is that rigging the TNT to kill you, except when you step on it, it drops you down below to kill you, kill you even further. So if I go into survival mode, nothing happens, nothing happens. But as soon as I step on this, you fall into here, and yeah, you're, you're done for. You're not going to make it out of it. What? 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 How did I survive that? I didn't even lose a heart. Wait a minute. What? What? <laughs> did you guys see that? I didn't even lose a heart. Okay, that is just stupid, but... <laughs> okay, wait a minute. I don't know how that happened. But to make it more deadly, you can place more TNT. You guys get the point. I'm in a bad mood now. Goodbye. I'm gonna. <laughs> okay, guys. As you may have seen, um, in the last in the last clip, um, I got teleported here instead of there, and uh, it's like I told time, right? This is the next trap. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, this is the next trap. Um, it's pretty much it's rigging up a Nether portal. So pretty much. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to find your friend's nether portal. The nether portal size obviously doesn't matter, but you need to find your friend's nether portal. I mean, this one's absolutely cruel because they can't do anything. So here are the materials you are going to need. You're going to need two tripwire hooks. I'm going to recommend you using six string. You don't technically need to use six string, but I recommend it. Um, I recommend using 11 blocks. Technically, okay, you don't need 11 netherrack. It just has to be a block, but I use netherrack because it blends in. And then again, not 64 TNT, just any amount of TNT. Um, yeah, you don't have to use TNT again. Uh, so yeah, let's just go into this nether portal. And let's rig it up. Okay, so look at this. So the first thing we have to do, I think, in my opinion, to, for this trap, is we have to completely just close up the back side of this portal. The reason we have to close up the back side of this portal is because if somebody spawns in, right, they they can't just walk backwards outside and miss the trap, right? So, yeah, I'm going to close that in. Next one I'm going to do is I'm going to place a tripwire hook here and right here. The reason I'm placing them here is because if you when you immediately spawn in, you don't see these because they're out of the frame. And that's when you need your six strings of so one, two, three, four, five six and now it's completely set now i can get rid of all this jazz and all this nonsense now we just need to set the tnt now one mistake i made when i was recording this um this clip last time i had to delete the clip because it was bad but one stupid mistake i made was i just put the tnt around here i mean i'm just completely stupid when i did that um so but what you have to do is you have to put the tnt behind each of these or else it's not going to work and then you kind of you just have to loop it around just like so, and you have to completely loop it around, but you have to make sure that they do not see it, all right, guys? That's, the, like, the most important thing, because if they see it, then they just hop back in, and they won't, they won't, you know, they won't do anything, so. But I, I think this one's definitely my least favorite trap out of the, every one I'm showing you, simply because it's kind of hard to make you die to the TNT. Oh, I mean, look at this. But what you can do is you can do this because they might not see it over it. I'm not really, I'm not 100% sure. But let me just, let me just uh, kill myself real quick. Don't, I recommend you. <clears throat> anyway, that was not funny. Nick. <clears throat> okay, so anyway, so now we're here again. Uh, so all the resources are gone. Now I'm going to go into survival mode and I'll test it. So pretend I'm like the friend. Do, 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 do. Let me just go in this nether portal. Da, 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 da. 
And guys, now we're seeing why we had to have a blockage here, right? So now if we, as soon as we go forward, I, you don't even notice anything. But that's the, that's the main problem, I think, with this trap, is that most of the people are just going to walk straight forward, right? I think that's the main problem with this trap, that as soon as you go in this, you're going to walk forward. Which is why uh, I gave you guys the flexibility to, like, kind of curve the TNT around and, like, intercept them as they're walking. So, yeah, this is definitely my least favorite trap, but on to the next one. I think it's eight. Oh, okay, guys, welcome to clip number seven. Uh, why did I say clip? Oh, my God. I just spent the whole time rehearsing to say trap, but I said clip. All right, anyway, guys, welcome to trap number seven. This one's arguably not the most simple at all. But it's arguably definitely my favorite. This is definitely my favorite trap out of all of them. Uh, number 11 being my second favorite. Just because of how kind of, you know, simple it is. But at the same time, it's just so amazing. It's so amazing. So, the materials, materials you will need is one observer. That's it. And as much TNT as you would like. That is literally it. So, the I guess the harder part of this is harder. Is you need to find your friends or your enemies. I don't really know. Farm, alright? Uh, what I mean by farm is just an area like this with a little bit of tilled land. Just like so. Just like what I'm in right now. So you need to find your friend's farm. And you know what you know what you can do? You can what I like to do is I I no, I don't want farmland. Uh I'm going to break all of this farmland, right? I'm gonna break all this farmland, so they're gonna have to till it again, right? So, which means they're going to have to use a hoe to till it again, right? And that's exactly what we want them to do, okay? So, okay, so I'll use it for this block right here. So, what I want to do, let me just get a torch so I'll be able to see real quick. So, what I want to do is I'll dig down to this block right here. I'll dig down three, and then I'll place the dirt back. That's why I need my torch. So, this is the dirt, okay? And then, what I want to do is I want to place an observer right below that dirt block. Pretty much what that's doing is, every time you till that land from now on, it's going to set this observer off, therefore letting up a redstone signal to all this TNT right here. So now all you have to do is you, you just got to, you know, you got to do your business. You got to place all the TNT, you know what? You like all of it, as much as you want. Again, I would probably recommend not placing this much because not only is it going to kill their, everything around it, but like, you, you shouldn't have to waste this much TNT, right? Like, this is a lot of TNT, you have to admit. So, let me just dig out real quick. Let me place it all back, because I'm so cruel. And, oh, and I'm under the, I'm under the, that thing. Okay, let me just get the fence back so they don't notice. And now, it's going to look like this to them. Now, every, the trap is completely set now. Now, let me go into survival mode and show you this. Okay, so pretend I am the, uh, Pretend I'm the friend that you just rigged. Do, 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 do. Oh shoot, why is my garden all, why is my garden all ruined? I gotta fix that. And then as soon as you till this land, look at this. It let that observer off and the TNT is about to blow. <coughs> yep, there, oh god, that was deadly. Anyways, yeah, that was my favorite trap, simply because almost everybody has a farm you know everybody has a place to plant seeds or potatoes or carrots so yeah that's definitely my favorite trap look at that that's all the damage it did that was from the last time i tried to do it don't mind that but yeah i mean this is easily my favorite trap and um yeah on to trap number eight guys you guys looking back on that other clip that i ended that so weirdly i'm like let's go to number eight guys so yeah that's my bad but yeah this is trap number eight this one's also pretty cool but it's going to be a little bit harder because you need to find your friend's water bubble elevator pretty much what a water bubble elevator is is you go in it and it flies you up to the second or third or whatever floor you want to go to right so your friend's going to need to have one of these and i mean these are becoming more and more popular as Minecraft goes on, so if your friend has one of these, you have to prank them. And all you're going to need is one lava bucket. I know it shows three right here, I know it says three right here, but that's only because you're going to need three different lava sources, right? You can only have one bucket, for example. So, I'm going to show you how to make this. By the way, if you don't know how to make one of these water bubble elevators, uh, I recommend go checking out my video on that. It's, it's going to be in the top right corner of the screen, hopefully. I don't know how to actually do that. But, you know, hopefully it will be. 
So yeah, take you have to have a block, by the way. I didn't explain that at the beginning. You have to have three different stone blocks or whatever blocks you want. So get rid of this top block right here and then destroy it. Then get rid of this block right here, then this block right here, and then for good measures, you, ha you have to do this block right here. So you went down four, okay? So now what you want to do is you want to place one lava bucket here, the other lava bucket here, the other lava bucket here, and nothing here. The reason you're not, you're not going to do it right here is because I don't know how they would, but they could technically escape from here. So yeah, I, I just, I wouldn't do that. So now the your um, water bubble elevator is rigged. So the next person that goes on it is absolutely dead. So let me play that out again because I'm always the victim of my, uh, my own traps. So yeah, let's do this. So pretend I'm the friend again. Do 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 do. Empty chest. Do 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 do. Oh, and guys, by the way, even if you look up into this thing, like even if you look up, you can barely see the lava. Like nobody would know that was lava even if they did look. So it's very well covered up as well. So look at this. So yeah, you're dead. Even if you try to swim, which I'm trying to do right now. Yeah, you have no chance of escaping this thing. This is just deadly. It's so mean too because they're gonna lose all their stuff. But, uh, welcome to the real world, guys. Um, stuff's cruel around here. Anyway, that was trap number eight. I, I really recommend doing that because it's super cheap, and it's such an easy way to just kill a person if they have a water bubble elevator. So, yeah, that's pretty easy. On to trap number nine. This okay, guys, welcome to trap number nine. This one's very nostalgic for me because I've known this, like, pretty much my whole life I've been playing Minecraft, so... This one's pretty nostalgic for me, but it's it's super easy to make. Look at this, you're gonna you're gonna vomit when you see the amount of resources. <gasps> oh, only a lever or a lever or whatever. A redstone torch, one redstone dust, and as much TNT as you want. Again, I'm not the, I'm not gonna control that, but I'm just gonna tell you how to make this. So you're gonna have to find yourself a tree. Again, like that other one, it doesn't have to be spruce. It should be a single tree like this, but yeah, whatever. So you're gonna dig three like this, three by three, right in front of it, and then you're going to dig it down again, and then you're going to dig down right in front of here. Next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place a lever right on the bottom of this log. Then you're going to want to put a redstone dust, and then you're going to want to flick this lever so this redstone dust is on. Again, that's very important. This redstone dust has to be on. Then you're going to want to dig all of this down a third layer and place a redstone torch right here. And then you're going to want to place your TNT everywhere. Um, sorry for all the banging in the background. If you can hear that, I'm sorry. Uh, none of that's on purpose. Um, do not place it here. I'm pretty sure you can. I just didn't want to, just in case. You know, just in case it explodes. I, I'm not the one to test that out. You know what? Like, seriously, I'm not going to do that. So, now what you're going to want to... <laughs> it's like the fifth time I said that. Uh... Fit like fit the it. Sorry, you're gonna want to have to uh, get excited again. You are going to have to cover all of this up and then wait for somebody to come chop down this tree. So, normally they're gonna chop it down like this. Look at this. La 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 la. Oh, even if they don't get stuck, it doesn't matter because they're gonna die anyway. Uh, as you see, yeah, very simple trap, again, very explosive, and also, again, you don't have to put that much redstone in it, because, again, it's it's kind of hard to get that much redstone. If you can, definitely do it, because the aftermath looks insane. Like, look at this. That's incre that's that's awesome. So, or, where is it? I don't know where it is. It's somewhere, somewhere out of these 100 of explosions. You see all these? Anyway, on to trap number 10. This one is a little more complicated than the rest of these have been. It's a little more complicated, but I think you guys can do it. I think you can. On to trap number 10. Okay, guys, now that we're at trap number 10, <clears throat> I figured I'd tell you a bit about this one, as always. Okay, so this one, as you see, is in the end. So this is definitely the most expensive one because you have to get to the end, and then you have to actually... I mean, this was quite mean because you're literally tricking the player. You're pranking the player as they go to the end. So yeah, this one's really cruel. Oh, uh, this is the stuff you need now. Relax. Hey, hey, don't don't dislike the video. Don't leave. I'm just gonna show you. You need about a hundred obsidian for this, and you need a, any amount of dirt. You'll see along the way. Any amount of rails too, and then you'll just need a bunch of minecart with TNT. All right, guys, you don't need this much. You're just gonna see how it goes as I get there. Okay. Uh, this is just 
It's the same with the TNT. I got 64 even though I don't use it. It's the same thing. So you guys will just see like how I do it, right? But uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna be showing you how to do this. This one is, this one is. I mean, this was crazy. This one's awesome. I love it. Uh, as you see, I spawn in on this, on this um better. I mean, obsidian platform. Every player spawns in on this one. Sometimes you can spawn in, like inside here. I'm this. This still works. I'm pretty sure this works for that one too. So you don't need to worry. So I'm just gonna show you how to make this. So look, look what you need to do. So you have to kind of build a ring around this okay you have to build a ring around it like so so you have to build a ring around this uh make sure to get rid of any spare bet <laughs> obsidian so you need to do this okay you see this and then you need to raise this by five in total so one that's one already and then two three four five so you got to do that all the way around so Hopefully, I'll put a time lapse on this. Uh, if you're still hearing my voice, I didn't put a time lapse on this. So if you're still hearing my voice, then I failed on the editing front. I'm sorry, everybody. I failed you. If you're still hearing my voice, then I'm just sorry. Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully this is sped up right now. If it's not, then I'm embarrassed. I'm crying. No, I'm just, that was weird. All right, well, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, hopefully this is sped up right now because this is going pretty slowly. I'm about to meet back up with y'all. Um, anyway, yeah, please tell me this is all sped up. I really hope it is. Okay, guys, I'm back now. I was talking that whole time. I hope you couldn't hear me. But now that you have this sort of obsidian box, do not put a cover on the box, all right? <laughs> Just leave it as it is so. Oh, and by the way, you'll have to kill the Ender Dragon first, because if you want to get back, then you'll have to kill the Ender Dragon and go through that portal, but that's, that, whatever. So then, this is very important. Listen closely. What you have to do is you have to go to the bottom, you have to count one, two, and three, get rid of these two, and keep this block. The reason, I'll tell you that later, actually. So now you just need to fill in this whole platform. I recommend dirt, because it's an easy, cheap block, and these blocks are going to disappear. So if you don't want your block to disappear, use dirt. Okay, so now that we have this, okay, it has to be on the third layer. So there should be two above it right now, okay? Uh, by the way, um, I got this, okay, one sec. First of all, you have to do this as sort of a zigzag pattern just like this. The rails cannot be touching like this. They have to be like this, all right? Uh, and by the way, I got this design from CubFan123. Uh, I mean, this design's incredible. I love this thing. Uh, um, so, yeah, just do this, you know? Uh, and then you have to put the minecart with TNT on all these. I recommend putting one on each, but since Cub Fan put two on each, I'm just going to do that because he definitely knows what he's doing more than I do, right guys? So yeah, well he put three on each, I think. But yeah, you don't have to put three or two on each, simply because these are expensive things. So if you don't want to lose a lot of resources, just use one on each. So yeah, but you will not, yeah, so, oh, I'm an idiot. Did you see that? Holy cow, I went high. <laughs> Did you see that? Holy moly. All right, let's just disregard that. Uh, one, two, three. All right, I guess we're doing that again then, guys. Just hang in there. You can skip a little bit. Hopefully, I'll speed this up. That wasn't supposed to happen. Uh, okay, guys, this time I'm just going to leave this layer empty, okay? Alright, I'm still going to fill it up with two, though. But did you guys... Alright, you guys saw how high that sent me, right? Okay, just make sure... I don't know how that happened. Just make sure it doesn't happen to you, okay? They can't touch. They have to stand still like this, I think. And guys, they don't have to be off the rails. Alright, this is perfect. Alright, just leave it just like this. I mean, guys, it's really important that it's on the third layer, okay, guys? Remember, it has to be on the third layer. I'll tell you why right in a second, all right? All right, so now let me just commit kill, um, and let me go back. I have no idea where it is, okay? So now I'm going to, now this is where the plan really comes to action, all right? So I'm going to go to survival mode, okay? Slash game mode survival, okay? Now I'm in survival mode, and pretend I'm the friend that you're pranking. Guys, as soon as I step into this uh, end portal, I'm gonna just gonna explode. I'm gonna die. Watch. 
You see that? I just died. Holy moly, I'm higher than the energy dragon right now. Okay, guys, now I'm going to actually explain to you how that actually works. So it makes at least a little bit of sense. Uh, if you, if, because, like, I know I want to know how it works when I saw it, right? But, so, yeah, I'll explain to you guys. So, so, I made this box, so when it explodes, uh, you know, you don't go, it doesn't go everywhere. And so, so it's just needed, right? So, when you have the dirt block, right? I'll just use horse dirt. If it's right here, if it's anywhere here in the, in the three right here, every time you spawn in to the end again, the blocks will be gone, which is why we did it on the third layer, because these blocks got, these blocks disappeared, letting the minecarts fall, right, and explode and kill all of us. So if I was to put my dirt right here, I would have spawned in just below the dirt, and this wouldn't have disappeared. I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys, but, um, I hope it does. If, you, if it really doesn't make sense, go watch Cub Fan's video. It doesn't matter if it doesn't make sense. It just matters if you did it right. Right, guys? Okay, anyway. On to the big finale. On to trap number 11. This one is just crazy, guys. You'll want to see it. Trust me. Okay, guys. Trap number 10. The trap you've all been waiting for. I don't know if you've actually all been waiting for it, but here it is anyway. So this one is absolutely amazing. I absolutely love it. And yeah, I'll show you how it's done. So pretty much what you're going to need is you're going to need to find your friend's house, okay? You're going to have to go in your friend's house, and you're going to have to find one chest, okay? Just one chest in their house. Not a bed, not a furnace, not a crafting table, not a torch. Just one chest, all right? You don't need two like this. You just need one singular chest, okay? It doesn't have to be trapped. Just one chest. So now I'll show you the materials you'll need to create this trap. So you're going to need about 10 blocks uh, of your own block, doesn't really matter too much. You're going to need one rail, one minecart with hopper, one regular hopper, one normal chest, um, one normal piston, uh, a block of redstone, or it can just be a lever, or really any block that powers something, it doesn't matter at all. One redstone comparator, and then finally as much, as much uh, sorry, TNT as you want. It doesn't have to be 64 again, just any amount. Uh, now, I'm just going to clear out a little area. We're going to place all this back in later, obviously. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh, sorry. We don't need to... We don't need to... Uh, we need to get rid of that. My bad. Um, but, anyway. So, you have to get rid of this, too. So, what you want to do, okay? You want to place back that chest real quick. Okay, so the normal chest that was there, exactly in that position, okay? And you want to dig two blocks below that in a 3 by 2 way. So the hole should look exactly like this, okay? And for now, we're just going to get rid of this chest, alright? So to build this trap, what you have to do is you have to place one chest here, okay? Again, I'll give you guys a second to look at that, alright? Uh, you have to crouch and place a hopper going right into that chest. You see the funnel goes into the hopper. You have to come back up and put a piece of stone on top of this hopper. My, my throat hurts out. Then you have to put <clears throat> a rail on top of that piece of stone. And then a minecart with hopper on top of that rail. And then all you have to do is just quickly get rid of that stone. Uh, and then, I cannot stress this enough. You have to take this rail out of the chest. You have to, okay? You must, or you're going to die, okay? You have to. Phew. And now, you're going to go back down without touching that. Without touching that, like I just did a little bit, try not to touch it, alright guys? You're going to place one, two, three blocks of your own choice. You're just placeholder, so it doesn't matter. Place a piston, not a sticky piston, just a piston like this. And then you're going to place um, a normal block right here. It doesn't I, I, I do stone, but it doesn't really matter. Then you're going to have to power that piston. And then you're going to get rid of that, get rid of the piston, and get rid of these three blocks. Keeping this block, okay? You have to keep this block. Next, you're going to place back the chest that you broke. See, it's in its original place. You're going to go on top of that chest, and you're just going to place a comparator right here. That's perfect. So now, um, now you're done. Now you're really done, honestly. This is all you have, oh, this is all you have to do. Then, uh, I recommend you should, you should probably, you know, put the place back together, or else I think your friend might notice. That's just me, though. Um, you can, um, you, well, you have to cover this place up. Let me just, wait, first of all, let me just show you how it works. So, if you put, um, an item in here, as you see, it quickly turns that thing on. Okay, it quickly turns that thing on. And so, the point of this trap, right, is you put, 
or sorry, your friend puts an item in this chest, and then it triggers this thing, and then it triggers the TNT, and it blows up their house, alright? So, you need to cover everything right back up where it was. Uh, let me just get the carpet, and boom, it's normal. Um, I recommend actually using the same floor block as they did, but that was my bad, I messed up. Um, so now everything's perfect, except for the TNT, I forgot to do that, my bad. So now what you want to do, oh, I'm so stupid, you have to put the TNT right here, that's all you technically need, but if you want to kill the person to make sure of them, then you have to place a lot more TNT than that, if you want to kill them. Alright, again though, as soon as you put an item in that chest though, it's all over, alright, all bets off, they're dead. Alright, I'm just going to put TNT here, okay, and, alright, now that's the trap. The, tra the trap fully done, the TNT's in, everything's in, uh, and now I'll show you guys what it's like to be the survival player. So, game mode, uh, survival, sorry. So now let me just mine this chest, right, to put in the actual chest, sorry, I don't know. Um, alright, so, pretend I'm coming home from like a long day, uh, okay. You walk in, close the door, all that stuff, and then if you open the chest, it's fine, nothing's gonna blow up if you open the chest. But as soon as I place this chest, or any, any item actually, into the chest, it's going to explode. See? It immediately disappeared too. Uh, wow. That is amazing. Whew! Well, that was deadly. So yeah, that was a bit complicated. That was a bit more complicated than all the other ones. But I think if you... I think it's very easy compared to some other trap videos. But yeah, that's all I have time for. It. Well, that's all 11 traps. Uh, so yeah. Okay guys, I just want to thank you all for watching this video. It really helps me out. Uh, I would really appreciate it if you hit that like button because this video took all day. I had to delete like half the footage I had and redo it because there was no audio over it. It was so, that's why there's so many holes. You see all these holes guys? This is how long it took me, okay? That's how many holes there are. So yeah, it would seriously mean the world to me if you click that like button, alright? Uh, Hit the subscribe button if you want. I'm not forcing you. I mean, it's completely free. But, uh, yeah. So, that's all I have time for you guys today. I don't know why I say that again. It's like, what the heck? So, yeah. Um, please hit that like button. It would seriously mean the world to me. Please hit that subscribe button. It would seriously mean the world to me. Uh, and I'm out. By the way, guys, this, this took me a long time. So, it would seriously mean the world to me if you, uh, hit the like button, the subscribe button, even hit the bell. It would all mean the world to me. So, yeah, you don't have to, but, like,